I am a feminist, but I'm not the type of woman that would not love to have a man. Being a feminist does not mean that there shouldn't be a man. As a Christian, submitting yourself to your man does not make you a fool. And this is coming from Nollywood actress Ada Ame. Hmm. I agree. <laughs> I agree. I think I am. Um, I don't know why people. <laughs> I, I, I don't understand the narrative. The narrative that people keep pushing that feminism equals hating men. Um, it's not true. It's weird, and I don't. That's get not what it. she's saying. That's what people are assuming. That's no, why, that's why where, no, where she's coming from to is say that, oh, that why feminist, would, feminists don't submit. That's even what even she's then, saying. like feminists work in offices. You submit to your boss. You submit to your parents. You submit to we're your. We're talking about relationship now. It doesn't don't, matter. They're all the they're all relationships. Like no, my boss about, and I have we're a, about like a formal woman, relationship. relationship. The same thing applies because at the end of the day, it isn't just a woman to submit. It, it also the man who have um, times in the relationship where he also has to submit. I think maybe for feminists it would be a problem if. The man is asking me to submit and he's not submitting in his own way because I'm not a servant. We're both leaders, but leading is also serving. So if you have the initiative to serve when your time is right, I would do my part as well. And that's, that's what I would do with my work, with my friend, with my boss. I think people just don't... They, you, you find pleasure in demonizing this feminism, whole right? feminism thing for and me, I'm over it. Mm, for me, I think I'm just um, tired of I'm a feminist bot. You see that phrase, whenever, I like, I'm tired of this conversation, just do you and be human. I will always say that the, the bottom line of this feminism movement is treating everyone with respect and equal opportunity, yeah? If you have that at the back of your mind, then you, know, you don't need to carry a tag on your forehead to, well, maybe when you're advocating for something more serious and you have to, like, differentiate and all. But your day-to-day -day life, your relationship with your partner, your boss, or anything, once you respect people and understand that they are not your slave, as much as they serve you, you have to serve them back as well. Then we won't be having this, um, a feminist, but any conversation, but feminists will come for you, but Twitter feminists will kill you. Like, can we just let that word rest and be, bring it up where people it is necessary it. and where it's, it's important? So I don't think, I think people need to stop and leave this feminist movement to do what it's supposed to do. That's for me. We have um, a very notable feminist, Chimamanda Adichie, and um, she's married with kids. All the while she has been talking about feminism, she hasn't talked about the reason why she would not submit to a man. So I think a lot of people need to educate themselves on what feminism really stands for. Now, it is different when um, you're married to a man who believes or who doesn't understand your fights for feminism and who feels like, and the fact that you're a feminist, you must still wash my clothes, you must still do this, you must do... It's okay to do it, all those things, but what about the days when you can't? Is it the type that would now be like, no, I'm the man? I'm going to do this. Now, that's not equality. That's slavery, right? So um, I want people to just know that being a feminist doesn't change the fact that you're human and you can live your day-to-day -day life like every other woman. It's just the fact that when you're being oppressed, you speak up against it and you're not going to take oppression. It's that simple. So. And I think like every other belief system, it doesn't have to perpetuate every single aspect of your life. I've never heard anyone say, when I want to eat, ah, you're a Christian, you say you're eating. I've never heard that. But like, all of a sudden with feminism, oh, so you want me to open the door for you? I thought you were a feminist. Oh, so you want me to? Yeah, that's yeah, what I'm like, talking it's about. Putting it's ridiculous. You're picking and choosing. Know. The point is, even when you say that people I don't understand, I think they understand. They just don't like they that don't women like have an people idea that, that isn't don't. like um like romancing the ideas of a man, like the ideas of men and the ideas of feminists. Sometimes don't go together, and I think a lot of people just don't like that. So you mock it, and then you pick and nitpick on the little things that maybe one feminist said on Twitter, and then blow it into proportion and make a joke about the whole mm -hmm. thing. But it's it's busting. Even when the feminist is probably talking from her own personal opinion yeah. and orientation. But I like what you said, which is what I want to reiterate. Especially when we know that this conversation is based on relationship between a man and a woman. When you said leadership is about serving and if you have two leaders, then you have two people that are ready to serve each other. And I think yep. that's what we need to understand. Even when um, the word submission is used, a lot of people get triggered. And I'm wondering, why, why exactly are you, are you so being triggered? Because if you're saying I'm submitting to you, then it means that you're also going to submit to me mm -hmm. in a certain way as well. So it's not as if, I mean, even when you bring in cooking and cleaning and washing clothes, I mean, no I'm the kind problem. of person that won't even have that kind of conversation with you anymore. Mm -hmm. Because I mean, we're in the 21st century. Why exactly are we having a conversation regarding cooking and washing clothes when that can be done very easily, right? Mm -hmm. So um, I, I think people need to understand what loving a person is because I think if men really understand what love is about, yeah. then you won't
won't be triggered when you have to do certain things yeah. for someone you claim to love because it's as good as when yeah. the bible said oh wife submit to the husband yeah. and husband love um the woman like yeah. um, jesus christ loved the church you should think about how jesus christ actually loved the church which is basically laying down his life mm. so are men ready to actually lay yeah, down their lives nice. for a woman mm. while trying to hold on to the world the word submission like that's the only reason they are in this world so i think it's better to have good conversation with whoever you're trying to yeah. have anything with like over the weekend you know how you have people that will ask you out and then you say no mm -hmm. and after a while you realize that okay i made a good decision so we're having a conversation the guy was there and he was like i can never go into the kitchen i never saw my dad do it and he for the, how many years he has lived in this life he has that his dad had never entered the kitchen so he's never going to do it for any woman at that point i'm like oh good good choice i made <laughs> you know so, good, job, Elsie. <laughs> good job Elsie. so i mean you just need to have these conversations yeah. to know who you're getting in bed with and know if your values align it's not a big deal leave the feminism word i beg for where it has and serious also, the sucks. obsession with dating is ridiculous to me because even when I give an example of my boss and stuff, it's like, oh, but it's true. I do submit to my boss and that's okay. I submit to my friends. I submit to my, my, the banker, the person that controls my assets. Like, I submit to a lot of people in, in different ways. But when it comes to men, there's an obsession mm. that, like, things have to be different and I'm built for that. I'm made for that. So when I'm submitting to my boss, it's fine, even though I'm a feminist. But if I submit to my, my man, then it's like, all of a sudden, a weird dynamic and I've gone into another existential existence. Like, calm down, okay? It's not mm. that deep. Whenever you're ready.